So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 7th Angular tutorial in which we're gonna go a little deep into what host listener is and uh, learn a little about it and uh, its proper usage, right? So in the last example, what we looked is how to make use of host listener to add a very simple event to event listener to your element with directive, right? So what you can do actually is uh, you can use host listener in the following way. Now host listener would actually go something like uh, target and event and then finally the arguments here arguments here so this is the basic syntax the proper the complete syntax for a host listener and this target could only be the global objects which is your document and window and in most cases you're just gonna make use of document only right writing um, i guess you can make use of window on scroll and uh, you can make use of like document and any other associated even with that right so for now if i make use of document click right so now we are targeting every document and uh, this argument is optional as we see um right now so you can just emit it or um, you can include it and uh, if you include it, what it would probably look like is this event, right? Which obviously passes the element which you have clicked in our case, right? So now we can do um, element clicked and now we can safely say element. Uh, we can say console log clicked element, right? And if you take a look in the browser, click here, you can see that we can pretty much click anywhere because we are making use of document click which is your global object right so we are getting our um, all that good stuff it's trusted true this is important that means uh, you have actually clicked it and it's not a programmatic click from javascript right so yeah you can probably just use this um, I don't know if you are developing some application where you require to stop people from automating stuff using JavaScript, but again, um, actually it's useless, <laughs> right? So you can just bypass this anyhow. So anyways, getting back to where we were, if I remove this document now and save this, you can see that we lose our document context now, but we still do have our directive on click setup right so we get clicked and our mouse event right here which includes all those properties again which we saw in the document click right and uh, yeah so that was all pretty much for it and uh, that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one